So you want to create a cool little overlay transition thing with some triangles and some cool um, um, all spark cube. That's from Transformers. I don't know where that came from. Hey guys, I'm Bethesda Guy. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again to take a look at how to make this cool little transition thing that you could use for anything, for editing, for gaming videos, for regular videos, for vlog, travel videos, whatever you're doing, whatever, whatnot, motion graphic needs you got. So, let's go ahead and drag a box over top of everything today. Go ahead and hit delete on your keyboard. Hit shift A, and we're going to search for a camera. Hit uh, alt R to clear, the locate, to clear the rotation, sorry. And then hit G. Y and move it backwards um, like that and then hit R X and then on your numpad on the, on the numbers on the right hand side of your keyboard hit nine zero and then hit enter boom now we have that hit zero on your numpad to go into the camera's view and hit shift a and let's search for a mesh cone now if you hit this little add cone button down here at the bottom left you can see we can change the vertices from 32 down to three which is going to make this a nice little uh, pyramid like that and we're going to go ahead and hit um tab to go into edit mode grab the vertex up at the top here hit delete on your keyboard delete vertices boom get rid of that we don't need it then we can go ahead and head and hit tab to go back out of edit mode go to object go to um uh snap or actually sorry set origin so set origin and then go to geometry to origin and then boom snaps that thing right up to the uh, origin point which is this little orange circle so we, we needed the um, orange circle to um, be on the object unless you wanted to rotate it like this around this little pivot point so we put it on top of the little orange um, the little orange uh, circle so now when we rotate it it rotates like this instead so that's that's the good now hit R and then X on your keyboard and then once again 90 on your numpad to rotate that 90 degrees on the X axis Hit zero to go back into the camera's view, and you can see we have this nice little triangle here. So, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make it so that this is like duplicated out all over the whole thing. But before we do that, we need to actually animate this so we don't have to animate every single one of the triangles while we're making them. And by the way, I apologize if you can hear my fan. It is extremely hot, as anyone that's from America or most likely anywhere else right now can um, can contest, as long as you don't live in Antarctica. But who knows? It might be hot there too. How's the penguins doing? We don't know. All right, let's go ahead and grab this um, little triangle here. Go to frame zero, and then make our start frame zero as well. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that it kind of scales up a little bit, and then. Um, and then maybe like come, I don't know. Um, yeah, we're going to make it just scale up a little bit. So let's go ahead and on frame, let's go to actually, let's go to the, the main tab here, the output properties tab and change the frame rate from 24 to 60, first of all. And then we, when we play this, I think I'm going to make it so on frame 10, it will be this size. So um, scale. And then on frame zero, hit S to scale it down just a little tiny bit like that. Hit S, I uh, hit I, sorry, to, and hit scale. So. It zooms up like that, which is nice and good, but I want it to kind of smooth out a little bit more. So let's go to frame 50, hit I, and then uh, make sure this is a scale. And then on frame 10, we'll just scale it down a little bit. So hit S, and then move it in slightly, just slightly. Then hit I, scale. Nice. So now you can see it kind of it kind of smooths in, which looks really, really good. There we go. I think I might want it to be a little bit smaller So on the first frame, so scale it down a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. All right, now, so we need to duplicate all of these over, but we can't duplicate them starting on frame zero because if we were to do that and then move it over here, right, right on the next point, you can see when it scales up, it'll like go into each other. So we have to make sure that we're on frame 50 or past it. So make sure you're past frame, frame 50 and then duplicate everything out or else you're going to have a very difficult time with this. So let's go ahead and hit G, X to move this over here to about there, right on the, right past the, um, the main point, I guess. There you go. Um, now we can go ahead and hit um, uh, Shift D to duplicate this over, as you can see, duplicate that right there. Now we don't have to worry about where it's sitting because we're going to go ahead and turn on the magnet tool up here and then make sure that this is the snap is set to vertex like that. Uh, we can change some of the other things here, but we're just going to leave everything the same. So let's go ahead and zoom in to this little, this little point right here. Hit G and then snap that right on there to that point. Now we're gonna zoom in all the way to make sure that's exactly on that point. There we go, it's literally perfect. Now with the same thing with all of the rest of the um, keyframes. So now you can see when we look at this, it now zooms up, which just looks really, really cool. So that is that. Now, 
the funny thing is, is that if we were to do this for all the rest of them, we would have to go ahead and duplicate all of the materials as well. So what we need to do, uh, du duplicate all of the uh, animation as well. So that's why we that's why we did all the animation on one, and now we're gonna go ahead and duplicate them out, which is just very very uh, much simpler. So let's go ahead and do that now. Make sure we're past frame 50, and then we'll duplicate everything out. Move it over there. Zoom in so you get it like pinpoint precision, because sometimes it will snap um, to an incorrect spot weirdly enough so let's go ahead and just make sure that all of these are looking good i'll do this first row with you and then we'll do the second row and then i'll just duplicate the rest of them out so let's go ahead and move it over there and then zoom in hit g to move things g and then make sure you just pull your cursor close to it and it'll snap right on there there you go now with this done you can see that all of the um all the triangles will kind of zoom up like that which looks good but what if you want to make it so that the ones um sit in this little upside down piece so that's easy let's go ahead and grab this um triangle right here Actually, let's go ahead and just keep going off of this one. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and hit Shift D, duplicate this, and then we'll just move it. Um, we'll move it over here. Then hit R, um, uh, Y, so R Y to rotate on the Y axis, and then hit 180. So just hit 180 on your numpad. Now, if you left click, you can see that that will confirm that movement. Now, if you zoom into this little piece down here, hit G, you get where this is going, and then move it right there as you can see what it's going to do is going to, it's going to snap weirdly enough to this area so instead of doing this little middle piece let's go ahead and move this up oh, move this there and then we'll do this little corner piece either the left or the right hand side either one will work perfectly so it's going to snap that right there and as you can see when we back up it is perfectly in between all of those so now we need to go ahead and do the same thing when we when we look at this it will scale up perfectly as well but there you go so that is how you do that let's go ahead and just do the rest of these and then we'll just duplicate them all out i'll be right back ladies and gentlemen all right now holding down shift you can see i'm just grabbing each one of these hold down shift and right click each one of them and as you can see when we uh hit shift d to duplicate this bad boy you can see i move straight on down here and then we can snap these potentially to this corner right over here there we go nice so we snap that to that corner perfectly and then we need to maybe extend this out a little bit so shift d duplicate that over grab this one Put that corner there there you go nice so with that done we can actually go ahead and um and use the middle mouse button to like uh pan around here we'll grab all these by dragging the box over top so click and drag a box over top of everything hit zero to go back in the camera's view and then hit maybe g z to move it down a little bit so, so we can get that little that other piece out of there at the bottom um now with that done let's go ahead and um just uh, hold on shift grab this entire bottom row shift d to duplicate that Move it straight on up here. There you go. And then we will go ahead and just snap this corner piece to that right there. Perfect. And then we need to obviously just move this piece over here. Maybe delete that one because we don't need that. There we go. There we go. And then we'll just hit G. Move that on over. Not the bottom piece because the bottom piece doesn't want to work right most of the time, which is very strange. But hit G. Move that down here. There you go. Nice. So with that done, you can see that is there a little piece that's poking in here? No, nope, we're chilling. Okay, that piece is uh, nice and safe. All right. Just for good looks, we'll just um, hit G X to move everything over slightly so these little pieces on the sides are a little more even. There we go. We can even delete this piece because we don't need that. Nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, that looks really cool. If we play this, it, it has a cool little animation like that, which just looks really sweet. Now, obviously, if you want them to undo that animation, you have to just select everything. Go to click one of them. Now we need to go ahead and look at these keyframes here. And this should uh, select every single one of these by uh, drop, dropping down this little summary. Um, open this up and then just click on the first cone right here. Click left click that and then just hold it down and then just drag downwards. And it'll select and it'll just downsize all of those. Now you can see we have all these keyframes. Just click and drag a box over top of all of them. Hit shift D to duplicate them. Move them over here. Put the last keyframe on frame 220 or something like that. Grab this entire row by clicking and, uh, clicking and dragging a box over top of those. Hit G um, and move it over here. And then I assume we'll just grab these ones. Hit G and then move them there. Now, one, two, we have, okay, we have more lines in between um, this than I once thought. So let's go ahead and move them to approximately the right thing. There's three lines in between. So one line, two line, three lines. So one line, two line, three lines. And then one, one 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 nice okay so when we play this you can see that it will loop infinitely now let's go ahead and turn off my overlays and we'll grab the camera real quick actually so grab the camera go to the camera tab viewport display and then turn this all the way up so we can only see what the camera sees 
Now, when we play this, oh, I got rid of the timeline completely. Just click and drag a box. Put your cursor down the bottom left until the um, crosshair turns into a little uh, little like crosshair, like a FPS game. <laughs> and then click and drag upwards and then change this back to the timeline. There you go. Nice. If you accidentally did that as well. Um, hit play. And you can see it looks like this, which is very, very, very cool. Now, when it surrenders, um, you won't see the uh, the lines, obviously. We can actually go ahead and actually wait, wait. Let's grab all these and then move it all over. Um, let's move everything over by a couple so it stays yeah so it stays like like that for a little bit yeah that was cool yeah yeah okay that's cool i like that i just got rid of the timeline again dang it anyway um if we go to render viewport shading you can see if i make all of these the same material which is let's just click and drag a box over top of everything hit Control l link materials and then change this to an emission shader and then make our background black you can see that it looks like this which is really really cool very very cool stuff now if you wanted to go ahead and do something really really cool and offset each of these um animations what you can do is before you duplicate them or now to do it like as, as more random thing let's go ahead and this is just an extra thing this is just a really cool um cool thing so let's go ahead and go to the dope sheet open this up this is basically the timeline, just without the timeline stuff. So let's actually let's open up the timeline, not that dope sheet. All right, cool. Um, now, if we were to go ahead and select everything once again, um, open this up a bunch more. If you were to want to go ahead and um, move each one of these over by a, a such and such amount, whatever you want to, whatever you want to move it over by, just click and drag that that single line, and then just move it over like this. Hit G. So you can see that each of these will be um, offset. So if I were to go ahead and offset each one of these by two frames, I would just click and drag and hit G to move over by two frames. B to box select, so hit B. So actually, we don't even, we need to hit, he need to hit, need to hit B. Um, just click and drag a box. Just click and drag over top of everything except for the last one you just did. So hit G and then move it over one, two. Click to get rid of the selection. Click, a, click again to drag a box. And then the same thing. So if you see when we play this, you can see that all of these will go um, like not at the same time. So one, two, three, four, and you see it does it all the different times, which is cool. But that's why I recommend doing this before you duplicate them out. Um, or if, if you want it to be like in a straight line, or you can just go ahead and manually do it, which is the best way to most likely do it because you don't have to worry about um, not being able to move things around like you want to because we... Um, we need to du duplicate them out easier. So we duplicated them out fairly easy. So let's just go one by one and then just offset each one of these. So this is a super, super easy way to do this. Let's go ahead and just go back to um, solid viewport, viewport shading so we can see each individual triangle. Um, and let's turn off the 3D cursor. There we go. That's annoying me. All right. So we'll start with the first one. That one we don't need to offset because it's um, it's the first one. So let's go ahead and go to the second one. Uh, just click, uh, click and just hit uh, G, move it over uh, by two frames. This one move it over by four frames, four, and you can even do math if you want to, you can just literally just, uh, you can just, just literally just zoom in and then go by two. So this one's four, so this one's six, this one's eight, this one's 10, this one's 12. You can, you don't, you don't even have to do math, no math required, literally just 16, 18, just, I'm just looking at the numbers up here, just 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. This one will be um, oh, this one's not selected. So double if everything's gray like this, double tap A or just click A once until it's it's yellow. Then uh, what was the next one? Uh, it was 20. Yep, 20. Uh, 20. And we just keep going. 22. This is so easy. Um, if we were to do, do the offset animation before we duplicated them all up, we wouldn't have been able to move them exactly where I wanted to because not only do we have keyframes everywhere, um, we would have to do a lot of extra steps for all that. But this way, we just grab each one of these and then just move them over by hand, which is just so much easier. And obviously, we're already basically almost halfway done here. Let's go ahead and um, what was the last one? Uh, 30. Okay, 32. 34. This is so simple and quick. Um, 34, 38. And then obviously, we're almost done. We only have like six left. Um there we go. Wait, wait, this is 40, 42. And it's so easy to just check back and look at your, look at the next one you have to do because it's just, you just go back to the last triangle. Um, 44, 46, 48. We're going to end somewhere around, um, somewhere around here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's easy. 
easy 50 this one would be 52 this one would be 54 56 and 58 there we go too easy now you can see when we play this now you can see it has a nice little animation like this which is really really cool so you can make this order anything you want it just looks really really very cool but yeah i will see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one but until then oh make sure before i go make sure you also i i just realized we didn't do that i wasn't paying attention to, to that so it, some of it's kind of messed up look at the, make sure you take a look at the last um keyframes that you have as well so make sure you look at the 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 opposite ones over here if you already duplicated them if you didn't already duplicate them then that's fine but what we're going to do is we're going to actually real quick before we before we uh, hop off here let's go ahead and just delete all of these what's this one this one is like kind of messed up a little bit did we skip this one on accident we might have um there we go that should be good now there we go okay cool nice so i, I forgot about that so we should have done that uh, after this not that's, not that's my mistake so let's go ahead and once we've done all of that instead of having those keyframes at the end and duplicating them out now we can go ahead and grab them like this and then hit shift d duplicate them over like this and instead of um flipping them by hand we can go to the last keyframe go to the last keyframe here which is this one and then hit s up oh, then hit s negative one so uh, s and then on your numpad negative one and then it'll just literally flip it for you so you don't have to worry about doing it by hand like that um because i want it to be the same um the same spacing in between everything anyway so we'll go ahead and just do that which is, which is just really really easy and really cool so we play this now you can see that it acts like this and then it'll come back the same exact way it's super super cool stuff super easy to do very fluid very loopable but yeah, I, I appreciate you guys and girls for watching this tutorial. Thank you very much. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for more tutorials just like this. I make three tutorials a week. If I'm uh, if I'm on the ball, if I'm rolling for you guys, I do appreciate all the love and support. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.